Morning guys! So, today I'm going to show you a little bit around Silam. So Silam is in Bangkok and it's kind of like a business district area and it's kind of an expensive area but we decided to stay here for basically three reasons. One, we've been here before and it's a really cool area. Two, no idea. Three, <laughs> number three, it's nice. I don't know much about Silam, it's just nice, but I'll show you around today and I'm going to show you a map quickly of where we are and what road we're on and I'll show you around, see what we get up to. What? Shit, I'm shit at this. So this road here is Silam Road. These are the two main stations here. So we have Saladeng Station. Saladeneng, I don't know how you pronounce it, Saladeneng station, which is the Skytrain station. So this Skytrain goes all around Bangkok, and then next door you have Silom station, which is the MRT line. So the MRT is like the underground line. Saladeneng Skytrain line is the one that is like situated above the road and it travels over the top all the way around the city. A cool place here is Lumapini Park, situated right here right here it's a really cool park and you can go there and see like the monitor lizards and stuff there's loads of them in this park it's really chilled out and so basically we are living pretty much about here we're on soy 3 at the minute in a little Airbnb from here it's really easy to come down onto the main street and then you can go to places like this is a massive complex it's a huge shopping center, it's very posh, every single place really along here is quite posh and fancy, so it's, it's a really lovely part of Bangkok, it's just more expensive than other parts. Silam is also famous for its gay quarter, which is like up Soy 4 or somewhere like this, and I think there's a little bit more up here, not 100% sure. But it's a really cool place to drink. And the great thing about Silama Swell is every single night they have these night markets that go on, which are really fun to go to. You can go there and buy yourself a taser if you want to, or you can buy yourself some sunglasses. It's like completely random stuff. You can pretty much furnish your house from these markets. It's pretty great. This is right outside our apartment block. Standard 7-Eleven over there. Thailand Rob's normal hotel when he comes to Bangkok. This here, this big concrete structure above the road, this is the Sky Train. This is what you see going around all of Bangkok. And Soy 3. So all the roads here, are, they have a name for obviously the main road, which is Silam Road. And then all the roads that jut off, like our road to our place, they're called Soy's. Outside our house, straight onto Sealham Road, and the first right turning down a little back street is this cool little market. Undercover as well, if it happens to rain a little bit. But you can get everything here, it's just so cool. Sweden sour sauce. So this is Molly Malone's, the Irish bar. We came here when uh, we first came to Ceylon, the last time we we're here in Bangkok. We went to that Irish bar the last time we were in Bangkok, and it's Bangkok's one of these places where you come and you struggle to find somewhere again because you just can't remember the street and you can't remember where you went. That's the kind of craziness about it. And I'm way too tall for Bangkok, I just keep hitting my head on all these umbrellas. 
right. northeast. Yeah, I'm yeah. from Birmingham. Oh, chocolate cat brew. Yes. Yeah. Very good. I live next door to the factory. And, yeah. and where you go now? I don't know. We're what just looking for some food. Hey, yeah, Yeah, you've nice. been here many. many Wait, I've been here twice. three times. She's been here twice. Oh. But yeah, we like we like Silam. It's a little bit expensive, but it's a nice area. I think you should walk back and the left, and you can find maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get the room. Awesome. Thank you. Because uh, here, for sure, is uh, over than 20 years. I walking yeah. around here. Done anyway, yeah, nice, yeah to nice, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, have really a nice good lunch. You. Yeah, you Thank too. You. Bye. So we just met a local guy and he was like coming up behind me and he was trying to get past me and then I like stopped to let him past and he was like, no, 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 tourists first. And I was like, no, 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 locals first. People are really nice here and we just having a little chat with him about places to eat. He's lived here for 20 years. He's He's actually just been to the UK and he's came back, but he's from Ceylon. Really cool to meet Thai people actually. I need to meet a lot more. So this is Sala Da Neng station. This is the SkyTrain station, so you go up here and then you get onto these platforms and you get, get the train. It does get really, really busy around 5pm though, rush hour. So, like, it's really difficult to get on the train. Well, it's not difficult, but it's, it's jam-packed. We're just gonna head now along here and you come to the big shopping complex that I showed you on the map. We're gonna go in there and cool down and have a look around and maybe get some more food. <laughs> it's the porn clinic. Any of you guys out there need a porn clinic? Ceylon Road is for you. The Ceylon complex. So it's literally right outside Salad and Eng Station, and it's a huge, huge complex. Really fancy, expensive shops and stuff like that. Like, like a European shopping mall, really, or American shopping mall. You got your Starbucks coffee, all your standard like Western items you can get here. Huge shopping mall this is, really, really big. Really cool though, nice and cool in here. Just a little bit too western. If you want to see more of the real Bangkok, then it's it's not the place for you. Where are you going, Ali? Where are you going? <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> she keeps running away from me because she really wants food. She's back. <laughs> right, where do you want to eat? Somewhere. Somewhere, that's helpful. In the Ceylon complex, so we're on the ground floor and we've decided to come to this place. So it is Mr. Bali Beers. Bali Beers? I don't know. Internet, um, internet cafe? Indian cuisine cafe. I don't know why I wanted to say Indian internet cafe. Indian, Indian cafe? Indian internet cafe? If you are planning to come to Bangkok, I really recommend you staying in a suburb that's close to the BTS SkyTrain or the MRT underground train. The SkyTrain is a little bit better, a lot faster, more regular, but what we did on the first time we came here, well the second time I came here, the first time Ali came here, was he stayed right on the outskirts. We had to get a little tiny little bus, sorry, we had to get a little tiny little bus um, into the city to get on the SkyTrain then and then get into the major city parts. It's a little bit more of a hassle, it's, it's quite fun, but it's just a lot easier if you plan to stay somewhere on the BTS SkyTrain line. That's what I would recommend about coming to Bangkok. This is the chicken tikka tortilla. And Ali went for something really disgusting. I can't tell you what it is. It's, it'd make you cry if I told you. Yellow split pea dal. <laughs> I had a red pickled onion before. Tastes exactly the same as pickled onions, but pretty cool. It's the road of death. Trying to cross this is a fucking nightmare. You've got to pick the right moment, otherwise you're gonna get crushed. Like now. The crazy.
craziest game of chicken you've ever played. Oh, shit, we can go. Crazy game of chicken! Stop, stop, stop. We survived! Oh my god! We survived that road up there. Ah. So, we're on the opposite side of the road, and... This is basically the side of the road where most of the bars and then sort of nighty clubs are. This is a little dark alley with the, uh, the Irish bar. Flan, Flan O'Brien's. This is very westernised this place. You've got KFC, you got Subways, McDonald's, Burger King, Starbucks. Like it's very westernised but it's also westernized, but then also very, very Thai, which kind of like, it equals itself out. Islam Road, Soy 4. This is the um, sort of gay district. It's not really, like, it's gay, but it's, it's cool, you know? You can have really nice drinks here, and everyone's really friendly and happy and dancey. No, I'm just joking. No, it's a really cool place to come out and drink. Very safe very chilled. And then the next one up here is um, every night there's a night market and every night this street is also packed with a night market. It's really cool. We also have Boots in Bangkok. And now we're at the night market spot. So this turns into a night market all the way down here every night. That was a little bit of sea long. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know much around this area. I really need to explore it more. And we're definitely going to come back here and probably stay maybe on the next BTS SkyTrain station up. Explore that area a bit more. But no, it's a really cool, funky part of town. Really posh. Well, posh and then really Thai as well. I mean, you only have to step back off the main street to find yourself in the real Bangkok again. It's pretty cool, and I know you just tripped over a massive piece of concrete. Um, but yeah, that's basically Ceylon. Zebra crossings here in Bangkok. Don't really work as zebra crossings. <laughs> you want to cross the road in this crazy city? Safety in numbers. That's, that's where it's at. Safety in numbers. Don't cross the road on your own. <laughs> just grab loads of people and just push them into the road. Safety in numbers. Let me know in the comments if you've been here or you live here or things to explore around here. We have sort of one more day tomorrow to do something. Probably just going to chill out to be honest, but you never know. And then we're going to get the train up to Chiang Mai and get an apartment. That'll be so fun. Okay guys, bye! Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe!